Hey, welcome back everybody. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about direct variation. Direct variation is a type of a linear equation. Let's check it out. What direct variation says is that there is a relationship between x and y that is proportional. Um, the, the relationship is represented by the equation y equals mx, where m is known as the constant of proportionality. Also, m is also known as the slope, so let's see how that all works out. So the graph of y equals mx will be a straight line and with the slope of m, and it'll pass right through the origin. So here's some examples. Notice here's the origin. This would be a direct variation uh, equation because notice it's a straight line that goes right through the origin. This would be another one, straight line right through the origin. Here's another one, straight line right through the origin. Okay, so what's that in the real world? The number of points you get on a quiz varies directly with the number of problems you get correct. That makes sense. The more problems you solve correctly, the more you earn. And conversely, the less problems you solve correctly, the less points you receive. We can actually make a graph out of this. So if each problem is worth two points, what is the slope of the line? Let's check it out. So here are the questions you get correct on the x-axis, and the points earned are on the y-axis. If you get zero questions correct, you earn zero points. If you earn one, or get one question right, you get two points, two questions, four points, and notice, it makes a straight line that goes right through the origin. So this is direct variation. The slope would be rise two over one. So the slope equals two. If we think about this, the equation was y equals 2x because the slope equals 2, therefore m equals 2, and we have the equation of the line. The cost y dollars for x gigabytes of data is represented by y equals 10x. Can you think of what the slope's going to be? Graph the equation and interpret the slope. So we graph just like we did in section 1. Pick three points. Pick the easiest points you can think of. 0, 1, and 2 are my favorites. And we have a straight line. Think about the slope. What does the slope represent? The slope says it is the cost that you will pay for every gigabyte. You get, uh, you pay $10 for every one gigabyte. Get another $10 for another gigabyte. And that's the way it works. Pretty simple, right? Let's try this one. Notice this is renting video games. Four dollars for each video game. Y equals four X. Did you notice that the four is the amount it costs for the video game? Because if you rent zero video games, you pay zero dollars. You rent one video game, four dollars. Two video games, eight dollars. The slope tells you how many you pay for each video game. We can even do this without graphing. The weight y of an object on Titan, one of Saturn's moons, is proportional to the weight x of an object on Earth. That way we can predict how much something would weigh on Titan if we know how much it weighs on Earth. An object that weighs 105 pounds on Earth would weigh 15 pounds on Titan. Write an equation that represents the situation. Well, since I know I have y equals mx, and I know that y is Titan's weight, then 15 pounds would go in for y, because that's the weight on Titan. And since x is the weight of an object on Earth, then 105 would go in for x. Now I can do a simple one-step algebra problem. Divide by 105, divide by 105, simplify, and I get m equals 1 seventh. Now that I know what the slope is, I can make the equation. Therefore, the equation is going to be y equals 1 seventh x. And I can use this equation to predict other things now. How much would a chunk of ice that weighs 3.5 pounds on Titan weigh on Earth? Well, I simply plug in 3.5 in for y because that's the amount of weight on Titan. Then all I have to do is multiply by 7, multiply by 7, and I find out that a chunk of ice would weigh 24.5 pounds on Earth. Let's try one more. A daily wage of a factory worker, y, is proportional to the number of parts assembled in a day. And the parts assembled is x. 
So if a worker assembles 250 parts in a day and they earn $75, well, parts is x and money is y. So I have the equation, y equals mx. I plug in 75 for y, 250 for x. Algebra, divide by 250, divide by 250. I end up, divide by 25, divide by 25, I get 3 over 10. Now I have my equation. Pretty neat, huh? Because then I can just ask any question I want. How much does a worker earn who assembles 300 parts a day? Well, parts is x, so I simply simplify, or drop it in. I get 900 over 10, which means $90. So if you assemble 300 parts in a day, you'd earn $90. And you can anticipate how hard to work, depending on how much money you want to have to make. All right, so that's direct variation, the first kind of linear equation that we'll learn how to make. If you guys got any questions, make sure to let me know. Thanks, everybody.